Seeing is believing. As these globes clearly illustrate, the Earth is round. Or is it? Our cover story is reported by Brooke Silva-Braga. If you picture Earth as a ball spinning through space, the folks gathered at this park in Arcadia, California, are eager to argue, you're wrong. It's flatter than a pancake. They call themselves flat earthers. They insist the Earth is, well, flat. Curvature, I don't know. No one's ever seen it. We're living, they say, on a disk, floating through space with a tiny sun just overhead. The edge is a wall of ice. The perimeter of flat Earth is a wall of ice. That's what's holding in the ocean. That's what's containing everything. And what's underneath? Well, you know, we haven't dug that deep. Netta Hagler set up the meetup. It's supposedly spinning at 1,000 miles per hour, but we can't feel it. I don't believe I'm spinning right now, no. Probably most people who hear about it will laugh at it, think we're idiots. But we're not idiots. We're intelligent people from all walks of life and all ages. It's coming to you and day with much to say. Patricia Steer is one of what you might call the stars of today's Flat Earth movement, which mostly orbits around YouTube. Hey, cat, catch the chat. Did you realize the Earth is flat? Now that the plane's at cruising altitude, let's start the time lapse. Flat Earthers have brought levels onto planes to prove they're flying level. And we've been lied to on such a massive scale. And zoomed in on the moon and found clouds drifting, supposedly, behind it. Patricia Steer agreed yeah. to play a game of 20 questions, cosmic edition. Photos of the Earth from space. Completely and utterly false. Is the sun 93 million miles no, away? No, the sun is not as far away as we've been told, nor is the moon. They're probably about the same size. How about those photos of the astronauts who look like they're floating around on the space station? Completely fake. Harnesses, wires. Did we really go to the moon? No, we didn't go to the moon. And we don't have a rover on Mars. And we didn't do a flyby of Pluto. And we've never been to space. Period. End of. In short, flat earthers don't believe much of anything unless they see it for themselves. They say NASA is just a part of a massive conspiracy. It's a giant game of chess. We, all of us in humanity, are the pawns. Part of the whole flat earth thing is keeping us locked down, not knowledgeable about who we are, who we really are as people, and what we're capable of. Well, you think something new is happening? I do think something new is happening. People have really become obsessed with the idea that if it's not part of their direct experience, it can't be true. Tom Nichols takes a dim view of Flat Earth, a national security expert he teaches at the Harvard Extension School. You remain champion. He also won Jeopardy five times. People have lost faith in experts. We've developed a kind of reverse snobbery uh, that says if you have a great deal of education, if you're at a well-known institution, by definition, you must be a liar. Nichols poured his expertise into a book about the death of expertise. Oftentimes, younger people will say, well, the internet is just a big library. That's wrong. Uh, the internet is a big dumpster. There's no guarantee that anything you find on it is true. It's more democratic. Isn't that good? No. More de when it comes to knowledge, more democratic is not good. Absolutely not. Uh, we don't decide how fast things accelerate in a vacuum by voting on it. So in this show it to me world, we traveled to the Southern California desert to meet for ourselves the one man who is boldly going where no flat earther has gone before. I am their best hope. I am the best hope to prove to flat earth. Meet Michael Hughes, Mad Mike to his fans, limo driver, self-styled daredevil, and most recently, do-it-yourself flat earth explorer. The flat earth thing is like everything else to me. I just want people to question everything. Question what your congressman is doing, your city council. Question what really happened during the Civil War, what happened during 9-11. In that rocket sitting outside his house, Mad Mike built it himself. How does one go about finding out how to build a rocket? Um, more trial and error. 
That's a bunch of it, you know. And after you... You don't get a lot of second chances, though. No, you don't. In the rocket business. Yeah, especially when you're about 1,800 feet up. Let's go! Let's go! You know, these things are not easy to do. This past March, Mad Mike actually climbed into his steam-powered rocket and set off to see what he could see. And to the surprise of almost everyone, Mike not only took flight, but landed more or less intact. All right, Mike! Okay, Mike, we're gonna Mike. We're gonna this doesn't stretch. hurt, nothing hurts, just your back. Cool. True, 1,800 feet is not nearly high enough to properly survey the planet, but Mad Mike now has a plan to go 62 miles up to the edge of space, where he'll be able to see, or not see, the curve of Earth. This model, hanging in his house, shows how he hopes to strap himself to a contraption involving balloons and rockets and blast off. The first 20 miles will be with the balloon, and after that, my rocket will fire, pull me through the balloon, and then actually, once the rocket quits firing, I will actually fly like Superman for like another 30 seconds with no power, just up into the atmosphere. And if he somehow pulls that off, Mad Mike says he'll disprove centuries of science once and for all, or not. I expect to see uh, a flat disk up there. I don't have an agenda. If it's around, around Earth or a ball, I'm gonna come down and say, hey guys, I'm bad, it's a ball, okay? And with that, we put the ball yeah, this, back in Professor Nichols' court. The world looks flat. I look out my window, I don't see a curve. Right, the world looks flat, and who are you to tell me that my perception is no uh, better uh, than anyone else's. And I think that's a really dangerous thing because, you know, the Earth is round and you'll learn that the hard way if you try and fly an airplane. <laughs>